Welcome to the lesson 4 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course. And in this lesson, I'm going to share with you how to organize your animation projects in After Effects so that you can work more efficiently in After Effects. And that is also going to speed up your workflow. Well, the topic may sound a bit boring, but if you are serious about building a career in motion design, then this video is going to be a must watch for you. And till now in this course, we have learned 5 stages of how to come up with an unique idea for your animation project then how to design animation friendly characters in Adobe Illustrator and then how to prepare your illustration file for animation in After Effects. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we will be using throughout this course from our website that is linked in the description and also on the pinned comment. But before moving forward, make sure to hit the like button and comment down below because this kind of videos requires a lot of time and effort and your likes and comments really motivates me to make more free courses and tutorials like this and that is also one way you can support this channel. So without any further delay, let's dive right into Adobe After Effects. Okay, we are in After Effects and let's start with creating a new composition. So let's name the composition and let's keep the resolution as 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate as 30 fps. Okay, so if you have downloaded the open file of this course uh, from our website, then this is the folder structure you should see. Inside Corporate Explainer, you will get these two folders, one for AEP, which contains the After Effects open file, and then another one for illustration. Inside this, we have all the illustration frames, and uh, inside layers separated, we have all the illustration frames with layers separated. So right now, we will be using this one. So let's start importing this into After Effects. So we can simply click and drag and drop it here in the project panel and keep the settings as composition and this one as layer size. Press OK. Let's import the other frames like this. So we have imported all the illustration frames of this project. So this is the main composition which we are actually going to render. So let's name it like uh, main underscore. Now let's first organize these uh, compositions properly. For that, let's create a folder named comp. Inside this, I'm going to create another folder 001 main, another one 002 frames, and another one 003 assets. So I will move this main composition inside main folder and all the other frames inside the frames folder. And inside assets, uh, we will uh, just transfer the some of the secondary compositions or pre-comps that we will be creating uh, in this project. And let's create another, uh, another folder named AI. And inside this, we will just transfer all the illustration folders inside this one. That is it. Okay, now let's bring the frame one inside the main composition and let's open the composition. Okay, first we will pre-comp all the layers of this uh, plant. So let's select all the layers first. Yep, all the layers are selected and let's pre-comp it. And let's get inside the composition. You will see that the composition size is a lot bigger and there is a lot of empty space. So we have, so we have to resize it. For that we can use this button, region of interest and just make a border, keep some extra space around it and then go to composition, crop comp to region of interest. As we have resized this composition, the position will also change due to the change in the position of the anchor point. Now we have to resize this one more time and let's place this plant over here. Let's duplicate it one more time and place one plant over here and let's delete this illustration layer so let's select both these two composition layers and uh, give it a different color so right now like this i'm going to pre-comp individual objects uh, which are independent to the scenes uh in a in a pre-comp and also i'm going to shy out the unnecessary layers that we might not need to animate so that we can so that we have to deal with as minimum layers as possible in the given composition Okay, now let's select the floor, let's lock it and shy it out. Now here is the title, I think we have to animate this list, so let's keep it as it is. 
next is this lights indicator i think we have to animate it so let's keep it as it is next is the door layer so we don't have to do anything with the door layer so we can shy it out and simply lock it next is the right side door and the left side door layers so let's change the color of these two layers so that we can properly uh, indicate these two layers differently then right plate and left plate let's change it to a different color and just turn on shy also lock the background layer and turn on shy so this is how the layer panel looks before and after so of course you have to deal with low, lower number of layers right now and also due to the color leveling uh, you can easily recognize which layer is for which one so this will make your overall workflow more efficient and if you have more number of layers for example this one for this one layer organ organization is a must or else uh, you will get confused for doing a just a simple task so first let's start with pre-comping this layer so let's select all the layers of this character and pre-comp it together and then let's get inside the composition so let's turn on the continuous rasterize for this layer and you can see the overall composition size is a lot bigger again we are going to use region of interest to resize the composition and let's reposition it to its previous location also let's change the color of this layer I generally avoid red color because whenever I add a new null object, uh, it is generally a red colored layer. So I generally avoid red color and uh, select any other other color for a layer. Okay, next we can select all the background layers and uh, just pre-comp it together. And now we can change the color to a different color and just lock the layer. So now we can pre-comp the body parts of the character together and change the layer color. And also, I'm going to resize the resolution of the precomps using region of interest to remove the extra space. Now, let's precomp the hand. Okay, so let's rename these layers. And now, let's select all the layers and Use a different color level for these layers. So right now I have pre-comped the body parts of the character such as the facial elements with the head and the body and also uh, rename few of the layers and uh, also change the color leveling of the layers so that I can properly recognize the layers inside the timeline. So this is how the layer panel of this frame looks before and after. And also make sure to turn on the continuous rasterize for all the illustration layers so that your illustration doesn't get pixelated. And inside the frame too, there are lots of other uh, pre-comps that are added in this frame itself uh, when I have uh, added a new pre-comp inside the main compositions. So what I'm just going to do is select all the extra pre-comps and move it in the asset folder. That is it. So right now we can access all the frames of the illustrations from the frames folder here in the project panel. And in the similar way, I'm also going to manage the layers of the other rest of the frames. So like this, you can organize your project file in After Effects so that you can stay organized and it is going to help you uh, work more efficiently in After Effects. And I'm also going to provide this uh, updated project file for After Effects where you can do the rest of the animation um, in that uh, open file folder. So once you download that open file, uh, you will get this uh, After Effects open file as well where you can continue with the rest of the animation following the rest of the lessons. So that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.